I'm with Congressman Trent Franks, and we have uh, watched the movie Mafia 21 last night, and it's being shown again here in the uh, Congressional Caucus building today, in the Cannon building. And this is a fairly significant movie, and there are things in there that I hadn't seen before. Is, is, there, are, are, is that the same for you? Did you see things that you hadn't known? Absolutely. You know, I've been uh, working the pro-life effort uh, ever since I was in high school. And I saw and learned things from this movie that I'd never heard before. And I just think it's vital that people see this movie as much as they possibly can. You know, everybody tries to make a sale. I have no uh, gain uh, from people seeing this movie other than that I hope it will help us understand how we got to where we are in some very, very important areas. Well, the significance that um, Black Entertainment Television approached me and asked me for footage on this, and, and the significance that they are showing in this film is that it was something that was shown uh, on the day of Juneteenth. Yeah. And what day is that for people who don't know that, and why is it that significant when it comes to this movie? Well, Juneteenth is, is sort of the, the, the time when African Americans especially, but the country in general, celebrates the end of slavery. We call it Emancipation Day or Freedom Day, and it was a day when they learned in Galveston, Texas, uh, that uh, the last slaves learned that they were free. And I think it's a profound uh, holiday. I, I guess I identify with it, especially it's my birthday. Uh, but the, uh, the reality is that uh, this country, even though we did the horrible, unthinkable tragedy of embracing slavery as a people, we also had an epiphany of thought and changed our mind and said, no, 7,000 years of slavery on this earth is enough. And even though it sparked a civil war, we changed our policy on slavery. And that is a warning to do two things. Number one is to, to first to, to recognize the humanity of all of God's children, no matter their color or their age or their station in life. And secondly, it's, it's important to remind ourselves that things can change, that we can rise above uh, evil tragedies in the world. And uh, so I just like to, to see everyone see this movie because it shows that today, even though we are besieged by a, a a racist abortion policy uh, and something that the whole abortion industry came out of the eugenics movement where they were deliberately trying to decimate the black population and unfortunately they've been successful today one in two black children are aborted one out of two fifty percent of all african-american children are killed by abortion before they're born that is a statistic that is crushingly powerful and i hope that somehow america can say you know what enough is enough in that regard. We're not going to let that happen anymore. We're going to recognize this for what it is and we're going to say there's a better answer than killing children and there's a better way to help mothers than killing their children for them. That sounds really good. I, I don't think I could sum that up any better. Thank you for well, taking the time to speak with I us. I hope people will see this, this movie. It's very, very, very important and I hope that the, especially the African American community can give voice to the truth that it uh, demonstrates so clearly. Well, that's maafa21.com is the website for the movie. Definitely go to the site, purchase it, get involved. And, of course, thank you for getting involved in the pro-life efforts on the Hill. Um, and actually, just a quick addition, um, I think we saw that there was a big transition from the slavery efforts to try to figure out, well, if they can't do, uh, if they can't keep the blacks under their thumbs, then let's get rid of them. And we yeah, saw exactly the happened. movement into eugenics and then of course the uh, abortion and uh, birth control was a big part of that. That's right. And and I think that uh, perhaps the, the leadership in government uh, was a part of that. I think we saw some of that. And now I, I see that turning around and people like you and, and Chris Smith and, and other uh, Congressman Duncan Hunter and so on, other leaders who are stepping forward and saying, okay, now let's turn this thing around and let's stop it. Yeah. It's time for America to have a, maybe a second to civil war, only hopefully this one won't be bloody. Hopefully we can do this in a way where we can say, hey, we're not going to abide a racist policy that kills 50 percent of all African-American children. We're not going to let that happen anymore. We're better than that. That's not who we are as a nation. And, uh, you know, today the abortion policy in this country kills more African-Americans than were ever killed in slavery. And I just am astonished that we never quite seem to be so eloquent when we decry all the crimes of a past generation. And we're never so staggering blind when a genocide occurs in our own time. Absolutely. Thank you, Congressman Franks. Thank you. People see this movie. They need to see this movie. You bet.